Yep, you guessed it. We got some pretty clear skies. Hello everybody and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. And yeah, we've got some decently clear skies here tonight. There are some high clouds kind of scattered around and there is some clouds off to the west moving in but I'm hoping they stay far enough away that it won't bother anything that we do tonight. As you can see from the clear sky chart right here, it is showing cloud cover coming in after sunset, but hopefully again, that stays away. So we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, if the clouds do work with us, uh, nothing crazy tonight. I'm just wanting to bring some planetary stuff to the channel. And my idea is to probably just set up the telescope, uh, put the camera in it, and get some shots. Well, not some shots, really, just some live video, maybe of Jupiter and Saturn moving through. That way, so you guys can get an idea of what Jupiter and Saturn look like through my 8 inch Skywatcher Dobsonium. And yeah, just keep it simple like that. Maybe get some images of Mars if, if I can get some shots of it through the trees over here. So I have some pretty high trees off here to the right of me where Mars rises, so. We'll just have to wait and see about that. It is close to opposition right now, so it would be pretty cool to see. But we'll just have to wait and see. So now let's go ahead and wait. All right, another thing to always remember whenever you're considering buying a new telescope is portability. Now, this thing's pretty big, but it's not very heavy, but it's much better off being carried in two separate pieces. I'm kind of glad I didn't get the 10 inch because that was like another 20 pounds on top of this. So, yeah, always keep portability in mind when looking at telescopes. So you can probably see some clouds here behind me off to the west, but thankfully they're all staying off to the west. And here off to the east, like it is completely clear right now. Only thing is tonight, it's a little humid out, but not nearly as bad as it has been here lately. So there should be no issue there. But yeah, all I'm gonna be using tonight, besides the Skywatcher of course, is my Canon Rebel T3i. I'm gonna be doing the rest of the filming on my T5i. Yeah, the Canon Rebel T3i. My Celestron one and a quarter inch T adapter, my Celestron Canon T ring, and the Celestron Omni 2X Bartle lens, and that's that's it. That's all I'm using tonight. As you can see now, the sun has really started to set now, and thankfully all the clouds are pretty much all staying off to the west here. We've got a couple that's kind of drifted over us, but they're very, very sparse, so it's nothing to worry about. And also, thankfully, the humidity has kind of dropped as well, so it actually feels really good out here right now. But yeah, as you can see, Venus has just now started to appear here off in the western sky, so I'll go ahead and try and get a few shots of it. Go ahead and get the camera hooked up here and see what we can get. So with this one here, I'm using my T5i, the 2X Bartle lens, the Canon one and a quarter inch T adapter, and the Canon T ring. This is all just again through a eight inch Skywatcher Dobsonia. And it's almost completely clear out. So we'll go ahead and get started on this little planet to, planetary tour, if you will. First off, we're gonna start with Jupiter. Alrighty, I finally got things kind of set up here. As you can see, Jupiter is currently floating through the frame on the T3i. Now again, this is the T3i screen that you see here attached to my Dodsonian. Let's go over here and see if we can kind of get zoomed in here. All right. Now, as you can see, this is the five times zoom, and Jupiter should be about to enter the frame there. Okay, let me scoot it up just a little bit. Things get really wobbly as soon as I touch the camera. But, yeah, 
Now you can see the great red spot there, which is this is actually one of the first times I've been able to see see that on Jupiter through my Dobsonian. Just kind of follow it along here. Now again, this is all being shot on my Canon T3i through the Skywatcher 8-inch Dobsonian. Unfortunately, the view through the Dobsonian itself is not quite this zoomed in, if you will. This is zoomed in with the camera. Now, if you get you a strong enough bottle lens, I'm sure you can probably get some honestly better views than this. That's just kind of moving so fast. Let's see. There we go. That's a pretty decent shot. And you can see just how fast now it's moving there. It's zoomed in as I have it. I zoom back out. Yeah, that should give you kind of a rough idea of what you can see through the Skywatcher 8-inch Dipsonia with my gear right here. And, and again, scene conditions tonight, they're good, but honestly, I think there's like a very high, very, very high, very thin level of clouds over because looking through my finder scope here and stuff, there's a small glare, if you will, a little bit of a haze around Jupiter. So I think there's a very slight layer of clouds there. But yeah, this should give you a rough idea. Now, let's go ahead and move on to Saturn. And so far, just based on what I've seen from Saturn, kind of getting it framed up here in the exposure set, it's gonna look just as magnificent as Jupiter, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty excited to show you guys right here. And again, sorry if all this is coming off just a little bit awkward. This filming method right here, one camera filming another camera, is a bit weird, but I'm working with what I got here. I think it's turned out pretty good, so just be sure to stick with me i hope you guys are liking what you're seeing yeah go ahead let's get a first look at saturn now you can see saturn floating in right now let's go ahead and yeah there's saturn you can kind of see the atmosphere is definitely just a little wavy if you'll notice here saturn's kind of moving more up where Jupiter is moving more from a left to a right kind of way which is pretty interesting but Saturn of course is kind of behind Jupiter right now so that makes sense there's actually almost enough detail there where you can just almost see a division in the rings for sure which is pretty surprising now again all of this is just completely focused and everything on the Dobsonian itself. So you can see that with all of this I have in the Dobsonian, you are able to get good focus, which is one thing I was kind of worried about before I got it. Now the videos and stuff that you see me shoot tonight, that's not the ones I want to use whenever it comes to like stacking pictures and stuff for the planets. Um, I want to work on getting some other videos and hopefully get some really good images out of that. Now I know nothing about planetary photography again, so it's all just brand new stumping grounds for me. I'm looking forward to learning about it though, but it's definitely going to be a handful. That's us just now really getting started on some planetary stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry again if some of the filming and stuff was a little bit awkward. I'm trying out some new filming techniques and some new editing techniques, so just bear with me on that. Yeah, as always, be sure to subscribe so you can follow along for more. And again, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.